Hello, Mr. Tidbits here from tidbits-cami.com. Um, talking today about cold frames. This is something new that I'm kind of getting introdu introduced to, but uh, there's a gentleman here called Caleb Warnock who lives in Utah who uses cold frames to grow lettuce and uh, all sorts of vegetables throughout the winter. Now winter here in Utah gets really cold. I mean, we, we see, I've, I've gone a whole month without getting it above zero degrees. And so it can get really cold and basically you're stuck with what the grocery stores have. I don't like that. I like having fresh greens and, and being able to keep my herbs throughout the, the, the winter into the next year instead of replanting every year. So I did some research and found these cold frames um, and their design. Basically a cold frame is a box with a clear lid that goes over your plants and it insulates them but it still allows light to come in. Um, there's a lot, a lot of different opinions out there how effective they are but from what I've seen um, I you should be able to keep plants going all winter long if they're a cold hardy plant. There's different uh, lettuce varieties and plant varieties that are designed for cold weather and uh, they'll keep on growing. You can keep having your salads all through the year. Um, so anyways basically I have a cold frame here essentially it's just a box I used pressure treated wood um, it's not gonna to touch the soil or the plant, so I'm not worried about the chemicals in it. So if you can afford cedar, that'd be the best. Uh, it's It won't rot and it, it's not gonna hurt your plants. But uh, we did pressure treated, just cause I know it's not gonna to touch the ground or the plants or anything and contaminate. Anyways, and also you can get this clear, this is called clear roofing um, uh, material. It's the cheapest option. You can get the polycarbonate stuff they use for greenhouses, but it's, it's ridiculously expensive for what it is. So I just got this, it's stronger, um, it can take quite a bit of weight. I have one brace across the middle, it just sits inside here and I caulked it up to kind of keep it from having any drafts or anything. I do know water will pool up in here, I'm not so worried about that, I can easily dump it off. Okay, so it needs to be strong enough to withstand several inches of snow, because um, it will snow on it and build up and that's okay. Snow's just fine on these, light will still penetrate through and the snow will add extra insulation. A um, Couple of precautions that I've read, is you definitely want to raise raise it up, um, get a little stick and hold, pick it up whenever it's above 50 degrees outside, because then it just gets way too hot in there and it can damage your plants. Uh, cold hardy plants like cold, they don't like hot. So if it gets above 50 degrees outside, go up there and prop them open and then drop them down that night. Um, but yeah, you can keep opening it, getting as many uh, plant clippings as you want. Just uh, make sure it's not 20 below when you're out opening boxes because it can immediately freeze them. They need to be closed as much as possible. Open them up in the afternoon. Basically a quick and easy build and hopefully we'll be able to keep our herbs all through the winter and have lettuce and salads. Just a quick rundown of how I built it. Um, as you can see, I got the plastic set inside of the box. So I built the box to measure to the outside of this stuff. This stuff is only 26 inches wide. It's the widest you can get that I've been able to find. And so the inside of my box had to be 26 inches wide. I ran a furring strip, which is these boards on the inside, to hold it, and then one board across the center to give it strength. Um, but it's basically a wooden box screwed together. Uh, I was able to do two two by four or two by six by eights and cut them um, so that they'll fit our boxes perfectly. Uh, your boxes may be different sizes; you may have to adjust accordingly. But you want it to sit all the way over the top of the whole box. You don't want any air getting in underneath there, if possible. And if you choose, you can go to tidbits-cami.com. That's where we have the plans for our boxes that we built. And we'll also have the plans for these tops that go on top of them. You can hinge it, put handles on them, however you want. Um, we're just making them removable. As you can see, we've got them all lined up here, ready to go, because winter's coming tomorrow. Uh, in Utah, once it gets to winter time, it's there for six months. So we're ready and prepared, ready to go for this. So. So just a quick rundown of some plants that we have inside of our boxes. I bought uh, through Caleb Warnock, and we'll have his, his uh, link in our description below. He sells seeds that are specifically designed for winter. So that's what a lot of this stuff is. Um, it's winter lettuce, so it'll grow throughout the winter. Um, he has a great variety of just awesome stuff. So um, you want it fairly low. Some of the stuff's getting a little tall, because if it touches the top of that cold box, it'll freeze that, that leaf and kill it. I won't hurt the plant, but that leaf, whatever touches the cold boxes, will kill it. So make your cold boxes tall enough for whatever plants you have. These ones here, we'll trim down and we'll eat this lettuce as we go throughout the whole winter. Um, but yeah, just a variety of different winter lettuces. 
And then we have the herbs behind us. I don't know how many herbs we're gonna be able to save, but we're gonna try as many as we can. This is a experiment for us. We've never done it before. But from what I've read, I'm very optimistic that we can save the majority of the herbs. Basil's one thing I'm really curious about. I don't think we can save it, but we'll do our best. So you can use these cold frames to cover your carrots that you planted early in the summer or uh, spring, um, but primarily used for plants that you can plant in like July, August, September. Um, I even seen some people plant lettuce clear into October and use cold frames. They will slow down to a crawl in their growth, so it's better if the plants are mature before winter hits. But uh, most of this, what we have here, we planted in, in uh, September, late August, and that's what we're hoping to, to keep. We do have some lettuce that we just recently planted. Um, so we're all not sure how it's gonna go, but we'll follow up with you. So make sure you come back for more inspiration for the Keeper of the Home. <laughs>